All right, welcome back. Here is our second part of the altitudes and medians video. I want to find the missing length. So if MC is 7, this is the short part right here of this segment. Let me make this a little bit smaller, and I can highlight. This is 7, so I need to find out what is QM, the longer part. Well, remember, it's two-thirds and one-third for our fractions. So if that's seven for the short part, it's 14 for the long part. Please try six and seven on your own. Seven's a little bit harder, but remember that the short part is half of the long part, or the long part equals two times the short part. All right, again, if you could please pause the video, try it, and then unpause to check your work. CK is given as 12. That is this part, the short part. So the long part must be 24, and the whole thing must be 36. And on 7, VA is the long part, x plus 4. That's 2 times the short part, AK, x minus 1. So we're looking at, we're looking at this segment. VA is the long part, that is x plus 4. This is x minus 1. And the long part is 2 times the short part. So I can say x plus 4 equals 2x minus 2, or x equals 6. All right, then classifying orthocenter centroid. Orthocenter must be an altitude. That's a, an easier one to spot in this case because it's got to have a 90-degree angle. And a centroid is going to go to a midpoint, so it's going to bisect the sides. So please try to identify these five and then unpause the video and check your work when you're done. Okay, so this should be the orthocenter because I've got 90 degree angles. This should be a centroid because I've got midpoints. This is a centroid because I've got midpoints. This is a centroid because I've got midpoints, and then I've got an orthocenter for altitudes on the last one. The more challenging ones to differentiate between is orthocenter versus a circumcenter. Is this perpendicular bisectors or is this altitudes? Two ways you can check for a perpendicular bisector. See if it's marked which it clearly is not, and see if it is marked with uh, any numbers that are equal, like if this is 7 and this is 7. But because we're not given any numbers, and because it was not clearly marked like this, it's not going to be a circumcenter. This would have to be an orthocenter. So checking to see if these parts are cut in half can tell you if it is a circumcenter or not. Another way to check that might be a little bit less uh, intuitive would be if it goes to a vertex, it must be an altitude. Your height, your orthocenter uh, point of concurrency the altitudes always come from a vertex. So if it's the orthocenter, they're always coming from a vertex. I think that's a little bit less um, intuitive. I think the easier one to find is just check to see if these are cut in half. And if they're cut in half, you've got a circumcenter. You've got perpendicular bisectors.